Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we've got a lineup of SwitchBot products to show you. Now we weren't sponsored by SwitchBots, we just saw, saw these and thought these are really good, really fun, so we thought we'd give them a try. Now the SwitchBot Rod 2 Smart Curtain Operator works via Wi-Fi. It can be automated via a timer, a routine on your app, or by you actually pulling either the curtain open or closed. So it's got a little motion sense built into there which is really, really nice. Because our previous smart blinds that we've got from another company, if the motor went funny and didn't work or you just wanted to open it quickly and just tug the chain because you're near it, it would actually screw up the motor and it would lose what it was doing. But this is actually designed for you to be able to physically interact with it or use your smartphone or an NFC tag or any of the other way the smart bot systems work in with each other. So that's really, really good they've put that in. Um, to have it work with your smart assistants, you need to have the little hub mini. Um, but other than that, you can open and close the curtains and have a schedule without the hub, and you can just do it from your phone. In, the batteries in the smart curtain operator are actually about eight months, I think they've said the batteries last, which is quite impressive. If you've got one curtain, you only need one. So if you've just got one large curtain that you're pulling across a smaller window, then one is fine. But if you've got split curtains that actually open in the middle, you'll need to have two of them. So we've gone and got two to try out and we're gonna put them downstairs so you can see it easily and then we'll move them upstairs to our bedroom. And again, we've got the solar panels for that. So let's just open them up and have a look. As always, be careful when you do open your packaging, make sure you don't damage it's the product or yourself. So we've got, we've got a little welcome card with some quick instructions about the diameter. We have a gauge. I think this is to make um, a smooth transaction from one pole to the other when you've extended it. Yeah, so they've, it's a thin metal gauge which is sticky backed. So you can wrap that round and then bend it so that it will transition from one pole to the other easily if there's a problem with that. So that's nice they provided that. They've really thought things through with this. I do like SwitchBot as a company. They, they seem to have thought of everything so that you don't have to. It's very, very nice. A decent sized manual, which is very good to see nowadays. Yeah, there, there are little grabby hands to hold onto the curtains as well. So this could well do all of our curtains because we've only got a few hook ones. So you've got one of the arms, which they're just loose wheels, and that's a sprung-loaded system. An actual motor unit here, and they just clip on and off. And they just clip on and off using the push button there. And that's the actual wheel, actually has some traction. And in there, just inside there, you can see it's got little either magnets or bits of steel. So a magnet sensor can be triggered on the inside so it detects motion. You've got your pairing switch, an indicator LED, and USB type C charging point. In our box, we then have a host of clips. Take more packaging out and at the bottom we have a hidden box and here we've got our USB-C charge cable and some more clothes peg type hit clips which can be used to attach to your curtains. So this is going to be more fun to set up. I might have to go through the instructions. They say it's very quick and simple but considering all the different variants of curtains there are. So 
Yeah, I'm going to go off and actually read through the instructions to see which clips we need for the different curtains. And then we'll come back and I will put it together. Um, these clips are pretty strong actually, and they take a lot of force to open. You will be afraid that you're going to break it. You won't, but do pull it with a good bit of force and slowly. So I'll just get, open it a little bit, put my finger in there and just keep working your thumb down and eventually it will just crack open and then the whole thing can be used as a alligator type clip onto the curtains. It takes a lot of force, much more than you'd expect. So obviously that's really going to hold the curtain, that's really going to hold itself to the curtain and lock in. And again, when you're closing it, it's a lot of force. Um, Obviously the plastic is up to the job, but if you feel a bit hesitant about doing it, just keep going. It's not going to break. You will open it. They're strong, good quality plastics, but just be aware that it is a bit of effort to do that. But it needs to be to hold the weight of the curtain and pull it. Now these are much, much easier. They just simply lock open, open up and then close again. And then you can hook that through your loops and then that distributes it between the hoops of the curtain along the pole. So now we know how that works, we will see what we need to do. I won't, I'll be needing these probably for upstairs. I may need these for downstairs, but we'll try it without for now. They've certainly given us the options. So we need to get our unit and I think we're gonna start putting it up on the curtain before we pair it. Okay, so what we need to do is get our SwitchBot curtain rail and they're gonna be positioned over the rail like so. Obviously, if you've got a center point and you wanna put it on the inside of the curtain. So we're gonna open it up. And this is the sort of thing where they're saying about you might need to put that joining metal to make that a smooth transaction from one to the other. Now, Hook that just over there. As that's sprung loaded, it will just clip over. And again, do the same just here. And then squeeze, pull it down and make it fit in. It will just stretch, clip it in. And then that is now in position. So as that moves, that's gonna catch these parts and pull it along. You need to go back to your phone and get the app ready there. Before we get the app ready, what we'll do is we'll install the second one as well. Again, exactly the same process, but just behind the other curtain. And we'll get our solar panels and put those on as well. So just get your panel. They also come in a black as well as a white variant, so you can have them color match. Get instruction manuals. You've got some Velcro stickies. Pull off the cover. Empty little hooks. Now, I'm not gonna stick this on at the moment because we're gonna pull these off later. So we're putting those at the top, dragging it down and inserting and make sure it's pushed in. Okay, so if you're like us and the solar panel is gonna be completely hidden by the wall, which make the solar panel completely useless. SwitchBot, you've got some clever people with you. You've thought of all the problems before customers get to them. This is very good of you. So if your curtain bar was low, you could have it connect like that Perfect, easy, simple, nice, neat installation. But we can't do that. That's what these are for. This sucks to your curtain um, using Velcro to attach to the back of your curtain. And then these sticky labels you stick to the inside of your solar panel. And then the cord goes from your solar panel up to the SwitchBot motor so you can have the solar panel connected to the curtain 
and then with the cable that comes with the pulley with the actual switch bot part goes to there and still provides charge and light sensing very very well thought out guys so i'll take the solar panel off as that is how i'll be using it in the future and so for us what we need to do is actually pop the back of the solar panel off They've got some cable built into it. Unroll the cable. Now you have to have all the cable come out, which is a shame. If they'd just, if they just ever so slightly changed the back here, you could have had the cable come down one side, out the other. So maybe on Mark II, that could just be a slight redesign but really, really well thought out. Close it back up. Put your stickers on there. Plug that into the back of your switch bot curtain train, and then stick that to the back of your curtain with the solar panel facing out the window, and you're good to go. I won't have that running at the moment because head we're going to be putting this upstairs, but they really have thought of everything. Well done, guys. I'll just quickly show you how to attach the stickies to the back here. Sort of, they might not necessarily be in the right place there automatically. So what you want to do is actually peel your sticky label off and have, the, have it off the Velcro and then line it up with the squares at the back. So just position it like that, put it in there, get the second one off. Pull the sticky back off. Line it up with there. And the reason why they're wanting them spaced out in this particular way is so that you can still remove this pack panel and then the sticky isn't going to be covering it. And then the cutout goes over there. And so we'll then space it out. And then you pull this backing one off and stick your curtain to that once you've got it in position. And then that would be good to go really really simple really nice if you find that for some reason that doesn't stick to your curtain and you're happy with sewing because it's just velcro you can just sew straight from that onto your curtain and if you want to depending on how thick and heavy your curtains are but that's brilliant obviously through a lace curtain that would show but it's not too bad actually especially if you're color matching it but with our blackout blinds but with our blackout curtains you can certainly take the weight of it and hopefully that stick will stick now what we need to do is get our phone again and come to the app. And so now we're going to want to come to the ad. It's going to be looking for them. And curtain. Now we're going to do from open in the middle and select next. So we need to add the first curtain. We've got that one done. Click next. And tap next. Let's try this one. Now it's now it wants to add the second curtain. There you go, right. So just keep pressing them until it detects them. So it's grouping them. We can give it a name. Now we're gonna say master bedroom because that's where they're going to live. Obviously we're gonna to have to recalibrate it when you move them. You can give it a name, but we'll leave it for now. It's a rod. So it wants us to now go through the different versions. Rod two. 
and then you can say what type of curtain it is. So again, we're gonna to have to change all this for our one, but we'll go for that style. It talks you straight through how to do it all. Really nice, simple instructions. Don't know why they're having to do that. I can't see why it needs that extra bit. I'm gonna skip that. I'm just gonna say next. I confirm that curtains are closed and start calibration. So now I'll move left. Nice and simple. That was simple to do. Done. Real simple. <laughs> That's gonna be some fun. Okay, and then again, you can use the app and you can say, I want to have the curtains. You can even then say single slide. So you can say, I want this one open so I can get to the door as we've got this over patio doors, but this one can still be closed. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say I like switch pot. I really, really don't want to because I want more of these. I want this on all of our curtains. Switch pot, you're going to make me lazy. This is Lovely. I am absolutely loving this. Well, I'm going to move that upstairs to our bedroom. So I've just put the curtains in the other room and we had this message come up. So we will go and set that. We will turn cloud services on. And then we can link it to our third party applications. Continue. Sign in. So that should have created it to G. isn't showing up there yet but we do have them down here so we just need to put them into the correct rooms next so now we've got the device set there And we can then also do this with Lady A. And that's now connected. We won't bother with this stuff than that because we found that to be now a poor service because you've got to pay for it and it's much more limited. 
but that's now set for home automation. So let's see if it works. Okay, Google. Close the snug curtains. Okay, closing the curtain FB. And it does. That works really well. That's it for now. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and the most important thing is to subscribe. We really need to get our subscribers up, guys, because we really do appreciate talking to everyone, and it's YouTube looks for the number of subscribers more than anything else. That's the most important thing for us. And if you do want to get yourself any of the SwitchBot products, I'll have a link in the description down below to SwitchBot directly and we've also got a discount code for you as well. So using our link and our discount code, you'll be able to get yourself, I believe it's 10% off. Don't quote me on that yet, but we'll try and get something like that for you guys. And I do think it is really worthwhile um, getting the curtains. I love them. I think the whole system is really great. I love it. Well, that's it for now. Take care as always. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye for now.